Good day everybody, this is your boy Eduardo Abba and welcome to my latest tutorial on today's tutorial we're going to see how all the sketch entities, line, circles, square, all of them function by joining this card. So to do that rapidly, I'm going to go to file, um, control N, so I'm just going to do control N, I'm going to take parts and OK. Now I'm going to get a phone. I'm going to take the front plane of course sketch and I'm going to get a center rectangle so I'm going to give the dimension of my center rectangle I'm going to take this to be 7 inch and this to be 1.5 inch Now rapidly, I'm going to draw a line just below this sketch, make it to be horizontal by making sure it is 180 degrees. Now I'm going to define the geometry, meaning that given the distance between our first sketch and this line. So we're just going to click this, this, and take it this way, which is going to be 0 0.275, 0 0.2. 75 inch and we're going to validate this so rapidly we are going to draw a circle here which is actually going to touch this end i think the circle is enough and we're going to take the distance between our circle and the edge of our sketch the distance between okay we're going to allow this like this so i'm going to allow this sketch now from the center to this edge we are going to take it as one inch which is 2.54 centimeters now after this is gone we are going to go click here go to extruded now don't forget you're going to get the mid plane so taking the mid plane and now here we are going to change all of this to three point let's say one two five so one two five inch now the geometry is not complete we are going to select this and we are going to validate this Rapidly, what we're going to do next is we are going to go to um, reference geometry. We're going to take a plane. Now, while waiting for our plane to come, immediately our plane is going to. After we're going to select this um, first reference, click on this surface and set this value to be 0 0.01 inch. After that, we are just going to hit enter. Now, after hitting enter, our next step is. Next, we are going to create a new sketch on our new reference plane. So I'm just going to make normal R so that I can see everything clearly. So what I need to do is the sketch. I need to take a centered circle. Okay. Now, immediately I'm going to get a center circle. What I'm going to do next is this. Now we are going to draw the wheels. We are going to take this circle. So we could draw the wheels now. Oh, sorry, we have a the problem there. We are going to take our circle. Um, to take the circle, what I need to do is I need to define, and I'm going to draw my circle now. So I think allowing it like this, it's okay. So we're going to validate, and remember we're going to go to extrude both search and now here we are going to allow blind and instead of allowing this man we are going to change to take 0 0.60 inch inch so it's correct so we are just going to click and here if you look clearly you can see what i've already added so what we are going to do next is now we are going to add what we call filet to make it look nice. We are just going to click filet. Now 
here we are going to change the value and we're going to put 0 0.25 that's the value inch that's the value and we are just going to select here no actually here you're going to be wise when selecting yes you're going to select that here and of course you are going to take away this face so to take you can just come there you click what you want to change after clicking what you want to change you simply go to delete and you discover that this surface will, will go out i will click enter to see what is going to happen now if you observe you see that the surface look more presentable so um can do the rest for all the same but for the time constraint what we are going to do is we are just going to continue so what next we are just going to do for our wheel and that's all we go back to fillet um the same so we are just going to take this edge and this edge and we are just going to validate this and you can agree with me that our tire look more presentable now to complete the wheel what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go to mirror which is right up there now i'm just going to select here front plane and now when this front plane is selected what i need to do is i need to come right here now on this surface i'm going to select this tire that's this part and this part and after that is done i'm just going to click this now um we can see that we already have two tires there now to complete the other remaining tires i'm still going to do the same mirror now instead of taking the front plane i'm going to take a right plane all that was explained in the first video now in the right plane here i'm just going to click this surface and this surface to well define the sketch now i'm just going to click here and we are going to discover that we have the four complete wheels after this four complete wheel what we need to do next is we are going to take normal r and we are going to draw a straight line joining um that's we are going to take this okay so we are going to take this plane now after taking that the front plane after this we are going to name this or we are going to define this dimension in sigma dimension that's from here to this edge we are going to take it as 1.7 1.70 inch and we are going to hit enter now next what we are going to do is we are going to take a tangent act to draw so to do this all we need to do is but before that we are going to take another line which is which is going to be two inch long two inch long and it's going to create an angle of so we are going to have this angle here I'm going to take that angle to be 25 25 degrees and we're going to validate this so now we are going to take now our tangent act to complete the job so tangent up is just going to click at this point and we are just going to simply complete our geometry and then we are just going to move forward next we go to futures extruded both to search now we are just going to set this at midpoint so we're going to take the last option and this value we're going to change this value we are going to put 2.25 inch 2.25 inch so after this is done we are just going to click this and as you can see we have the form of a car here uh, we have the form of a car which it looks great so let's continue so let's try to add a filler 
to these two edges so let's say we're going to take this and obviously this so let's take 0 0.35 and let's see how it's going to be 0 0.35 inch so we're just going to validate this and wow so you see how it's going to look like but from the first diagram this place was empty so to make this empty what you need to do is you need to remove the line that we are going to that was here so um this is all about the functions that we are supposed to see and now we are going to see how we can change the color first of all we are going to change the material that we are using so what we need to go is uh, where we have material we have not specified any right click take edit and we are going to take a material that best suits our choice so we are going to go to appearance and let's take steel so looking at this color i think it's a good color so you can change any color you want and type of steel that you want so let's take um, for example this and we are going to apply after applying you're going to discover that the material that was here has changed and the name of the material becomes here now also we can add other mat other materials which are different you can go like um let's say we go to here where we have edit appearance after this appearance has been edited we go to appearance and clicking here let us see you can look other materials like rubber and let me take plastic so rubber plastic so i would like to take glass and so we have other glasses or other type of materials so if you look you observe that i've changed this form and now i've put a tire here so i'm going to change this upper part and to do that i'm just going to right click appearance and i'm going to take this so i'm going to take glass because i want it to look good so i'm going to take glass now i'm going to take this and i'm going to take a glass that is going to reflect let's say it's going to reflect green so let's see this so and i'm going to validate and now if you look very well you are going to see how it reflects green to be the internal part that we have so thank you very much for looking at these new videos and please don't forget to subscribe once again this is your boy Eduardo and see you next time on my video so ciao